You know I'm not one to gossip, except when I hear what superstars say when they don't realize they're still on mic. Indy Hartwell and Lacey Evans were talking about you, and Indy was all, I don't reckon her finisher is all that strong. And Lacey said, I don't know about that, Indy. Then Indy said, my finisher is so much stronger, and everybody knows it. So, do you feel like getting in the ring and seeing who can finish the match first? champs in a rarely seen finisher match. Yeah, there's rumors that Indy Hartwell has been saying that the finisher is substantially better than anyone else's, which led to this unique stipulation here tonight. Well, everyone always thinks their moves are the best, and if you don't, well, then that's a problem. Elbow drop. Piercing. Sent into the corner. Bulldog. Top rope. Here we go. She's getting back to her feet. But is there fight left? From the top. One step ahead of Indy there. Ooh, what a forearm club. the arm into the neck breaker. Body cutter from the top. She avoids the attack completely. Costly error there. Oh, great height. Watch. There she goes. We all know what she's looking to do next. Suicide tornado DDT. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. 
Hooked up. Oh, my God, a small package driver. Oh, strong impact. And momentum is slipping away from Indy. Tough spot for Indy. Sign of adrenaline from Hartwell. All right, that's it. Yeah. Reverse DDT. Big form. She's <laughs> fighting back. Standing drop kick. Great up. <laughs> reversal from Hartwell. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Are back in from ringside. Oh, ouch! Got it, scouted. Watch her set up in the corner. Gotta hurt. Indy was scouted there. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. First DDT. That offense taking a toll on her. She had it scouted. Nice takedown. Oh. Hartwell saves herself. Great drop kick. Nice counter from Andy. She heads into the ring. just yet and another adding insult to injury a third time no way Hartwell looking to make an example of her opponent coming back into the ring back to the action oh merciless knee to the face Indy caught off guard uh oh able to parry that one She'll find under the ring here. Guess she was looking for her old pal named Kendo under there. Great counter. Kendo stick it back. Bang. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. She's able to get out of the way. Especially the winner.
OMG, look who it is. One half of the women's tag team champions, my partner. Hello to you too, partner and fellow tag team champion. Isn't it wild how far we've come? You used to hate me. Hey, we've been over this. I didn't hate you. I just resented you and hated everything I thought you stood for. Ah, yes, totally different. But water under the bridge. Feels easier to get along when we're champs. Speaking of, as champions, how should we kick off defending our titles? Why not hold an open challenge? Seems a good way to show the WWE Universe that we mean business when it comes to defending our gold. I love it, partner and fellow champion. Okay, that's starting to get old. Yeah, I regretted it as soon as I said it. an entrance quite like Asuka. A grand entrance for a grand slam champion. Beware the beautiful fury behind the mask because destruction awaits. Just check her resume. A Royal Rumble match winner, Money in the Bank contract holder, NXT, SmackDown, Raw Women's Championship, oh, and Tag Team Gold too. around Tamina. She just loves hurting people. No, she just loves to flex her power. And there ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. Unparalleled aggression and next level brutality. They're here. Team Championships, this duo is surely still hungry for more. Sharing the tag titles is like eating half a meal. It's just enough to show you how badly you want the whole thing.
the following. The former tag team champs refuse to go away. You have to respect them answering the champion's open challenge like indestructible villains in a horror movie. A horror movie we've seen too many times. I think I speak for the WWE Universe when I say it's time for a new era in tag team dominance. Will Asuka and Tamina regain their tag team titles from the new champions? Or will the champions kick off Corey's new era in tag team dominance? It's time to find out. Fisherman Buster! Big form! Quick thinking from Tamina. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. She is still in this fight. shaken. For the championship! And she thwarts the pen attempt in one. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. We don't often see Asuka in this position. This has to be a bit demoralizing for the Empress. And a gut buster! Nice. Trying to fight out of it. All right, that's it. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Tag made. Tag made. Oh, look at this. Oh, pump handle. Boom. Oh, gut buster. She sent flying into the corner. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Back body drop. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Big form. This is downright savage club right there. Oh, 
Shut up, Byron. Oscar gets tagged in. is the Bellas made quite an impact here tonight with their shocking return. We have seen them in quite some time, and now they just cut to the front of the line for a tag team title opportunity. Don't ever underestimate the Bellas cutthroat mentality. There's a reason they're Hall of Famers. I don't think the tag champions will be underestimating them after this. Unbelievable.
I didn't realize you were here tonight. A last minute podcast business. Sorry for not giving you a heads up. But I'm glad I was here. It's just like the Bella Twins to show up and ruin everything. You okay? Yeah, and it sounds like you have something in common. They're also upset about never having the chance to compete for the tag championships. Don't say that. I have nothing in common with them. Those two ran me out of WWE. Didn't your injury run you out of WWE? My injury just sealed the deal. When the Bella Twins arrived, it was the beginning of the end. Suddenly, no one was interested in the women as athletes and competitors. They started telling me I was supposed to be a diva. You should be thankful you don't have to deal with that. I still don't know if that's exactly the Bella Twins' fault. I wonder if you'd feel that way if your matches kept getting bumped for bikini contests, or schoolgirl matches, or pillow fights. The Bellas may not have been the whole Divas division, but they were a big part of building it. I see your point. I want to be a real competitor, too. It must have been infuriating. Did I ever tell you I was supposed to give a retirement speech? After I found out I could no longer compete, I was going to have the chance to go out on Raw and have a proper farewell. I really wanted to thank the fans for supporting me throughout my career and tell them firsthand why I had to leave. So what happened? It was cut for time. WWE decided to cover the Bellas going on a double date instead. Wow. I'm so sorry. I never had an issue with the Bellas, but knowing that definitely puts them in a different light. And I'm certainly not a fan of what they did to us tonight. I'm not going to let Nikki and Bree push us around. You know, WWE has been requesting that I book the Bella Twins on ruthless digression so they can do press on their various frivolous projects. I blew them off because of, well, everything. But maybe it would be a good idea to set up an interview. Would be a real shame if anything happened to them while they're recording in the studio. I understand what you're saying. Anything can happen in a podcast studio, and it won't be a pillow fight. I'll talk to Ava. It does seem like both of you always manage to keep busy, even before your surprise return. Groundbreaking reality shows, a podcast of your own. When you were in WWE before, you each held that Divas Championship, but whoa! Oh. Smackdown is our show now! Stay in your lane! That's enough! You've done enough! Break it up! What the hell are you thinking? Get them out of here, now! What did the trainer say? I'm okay. They said I'd be out for about a week, but 
Nothing serious. That's frustrating, but it could have been a lot worse. Didn't expect the Bellas to be ready for us at all. Maybe we underestimated them. Just a little bit. Take care of business until I'm back, okay? I certainly will. There's two of them, but at the end of the day, they're just the Bella Twins. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Justine from Oak Park, Illinois. One half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, LJ. This woman has wasted no time making her presence known. Already a tag team champion? She's putting all of WWE on notice. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. She didn't come alone. For the first time since Survivor Series, Justine is back. And what a time to return. There's always been bad blood between Justine and the Bellas, and it looks like it's about to boil over here tonight. Now the river goes to show you how much speed kills. He counters the strike. But Justine doesn't seem content to just sit on the sidelines. Justine's doing everything she can to keep her niece in this match. What's Natalia doing out here? And why is she helping the Bella Twins? Nikki nails the spear. And it's over. Natalia's distraction is enough to help the Bellas help themselves. In any event, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of this rivalry. Not with that ending. And not with the Bellas continuing to stir things up here on SmackDown. We still don't know why Natalia got involved, but it looks like Justine is even madder about it than her niece.
It's no secret that I've butted heads with both the Bellas in the past, but I am done with the shade being thrown on them and the WWE Divas division. I'm not an idiot. I know what some people have said about the women involved in that era, both behind our backs and to our faces, or in some people's cases, hiding behind a keyboard on social media. But the truth is, the Divas division was made up of talented competitors, all looking for their opportunity to shine, just like the women of today. As Divas, we had to fight for everything we got, whether it was a chance to speak or a two minute match. I would have thought a superstar who did her fair share of time in catering would understand taking advantage of every possible opportunity. Make no mistake, I am damn proud of how far this women's division has come, but I'm also proud of where we've been. It's time to respect the women who helped pave the way for the women's revolution. That includes the divas. And if anyone has a problem with that, they have a problem with me.